Let's handle this problem. So we're going to make this into a fraction first. Just put that thing over 1. Of course, division means we've got to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So instead of 2x over 3 divided by 3x squared, we're going to have 2x over 3. That one doesn't change, but now we're going to multiply by 1 over 3x squared. We take our reciprocal of that. We'll make this into one fraction. You can choose to write this again or simply extend that line. I would like to see if there's anything that will simplify. Do you see anything that will simplify? X. Those X's, you've got to do that. So we're going to have 2X or 2 times X times 1 over 3 times 3 times X times X. X squared gives us that X times X. So every time you see that, that's what we're doing. We cross out our X's here. There's only one pair that match up on our numerator and denominator. That's the common factor there. What's our new numerator? 2. 2 over 9. 9x, good, because we're multiplying what's left over. We have 3 times 3 is 9. We still have one of those x's. That should mean x to the first power or x. Raise your hand if you got that one. Good for you. That's fantastic. Can you do that problem? Yes. Do you need to flip anything over? No. Do you need to reciprocate any fractions? No. No, it's multiplication. Oh, okay. So don't get confused between division and multiplication. If I'm not giving you division, don't automatically assume you're going to flip stuff over. Are you with me on this? Uh -huh. Okay. You can do oh, this one. Multiplication, don't flip it over. Or Did we when, we, when we do this multiplication, do you flip this one back over? No. <coughs> now, if you can do that, can you do that? Okay, what are you going to do first? Sure, this is order of operations. So let's multiply those fractions together. Let's get one fraction out of it, and then let's divide by the 7 fifteenths. So let's try that. So to multiply these fractions, are we, are we going to get a positive or negative here, ladies and gentlemen? Negative. So we're going to have, I know it's negative, 2 times 9 over 3 times 14, and then after that I'll be dividing by 7 fifteenths after that. Hey, does anything simplify? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I see a 3 and a 9. Okay. Let's divide both a 3 and a 9 by what number? Three. So we're dividing by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is? And the 2 is 14. Good. 2 goes into both those numbers. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 14 seven times. Let's rewrite our fraction, and then let's divide by 7 fifteenths. I still have a negative divided by a 7 fifteenths. Okay, nod your head real quick if you're okay with this. Hey, it's very tempting to cross the sevens out. Can you do it? No. No, you got to reciprocate. Okay, so we can't do, we can't cross anything out until we have that multiplication. So now we have basically a new problem. It's like two problems in one. We've got the multiplication. We already did that. That was negative three sevens from here. Now we have a negative divided by a positive. I know right in my head that that's going to be a negative. I know that I'm going to keep that negative 3 sevenths. I'm going to be multiplying it, but instead of 7 fifteenths, I'm going to have 15 over 7. Yes, no? We extend our line, signifying that we're actually multiplying, and then we look for anything we can simplify. Can we simplify anything on this problem? No. No, the, the 3 and 15 are on the, on the numerators now. We can't cross that stuff out. 7 and 7 on the denominators. We can't cross that stuff out. All we're left with is multiply what's left over. I know we're going to get a negative. 
Our numerator is going to be 45. Our denominator is going to be. That's as good as you can do. You can't simplify that anymore. Try one of these on your own. Let's do four sevenths. Three eighths. Divided by negative three fourths. Okay, so kind of an order of operations problem and a fraction problem all tied together. And we're going to have some of those later in this chapter as well. We put a lot of stuff. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, all together in these problems. So this is kind of a nice stepping stone for us. Now, the first thing that it says to do is look for any parentheses, do what's inside of them. Now, this parenthesis just says I have a negative fraction. But this one says I can do something in there. Of course, when we have multiplication, I want to see one fraction before you start crossing stuff out. Make sure you know you can do that, because I would hate for you to start simplifying across division by mistake. Here we do have some things we can simplify. We've got a factor of 4. But nothing else. We've got a 3 and a 7. So we'll do the rest of our fraction by multiplication. We'll get 3. So 14 divided by negative 3 over 4. Raise your hand if you made it that far. Good deal. Now, question here, is our answer going to be positive or negative? What do you negative. think? Negative. Good. So you, can, you really can choose to do one of two things. You can choose to keep this negative with the number if you'd like, or you can choose to understand that a positive times a negative gives you a negative. Move the negative up front. You know your answer is going to be negative. You can do that. Now, I'm going to keep it with the negative 3 because I saw a lot of people did that on their paper. That's fine. That's okay. So if I'm dividing 13 by, uh, sorry, 3 fourteenths divided by negative 3 over 4, I'm not going to flip the first fraction. I'm not going to be even dividing anymore. I'll be multiplying, but I'll be doing that by the reciprocal of the second. Are you okay with that? Yes. Now, when you extend the line here and you put your multiplication, notice that I'm not subtracting. <coughs> I'm, I'm multiplying by that negative 3. To show that, if you'd like, Put that parentheses, that way you know you're not subtracting 3. I don't want you to give me something like 11 here. That'd just be a silly mistake. That'd be bad, but we don't do that. We're multiplying, so you're multiplying by negative 3. Let's see if we can simplify any of these numbers and see if it works out to be a negative like we know it should be. What, two, what factors do we have up here? 3 and 3. Okay, so 3 and 3 share a factor 3 and negative 3 share a factor 3. You just have to divide correctly with a sign. If we divide 3 by 3, how much are we going to get? One. If we divide negative 3 by 3, how much are we going to get? One. So as long as you don't forget about that negative, you'll be fine. So we're multiplying by negative 1 now. Lastly, we've got 4 and 14. I know they'll share a factor of 2. So we're dividing 4 by 2. We're dividing 14 by 2. We're going to have... 2 over negative, I got 2 over negative 7, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Listen, with fractions, Maybe negative 2 over 7? Just get into that. With fractions, it doesn't matter where the negative is. 
So here's what I'm trying to tell you. You need to watch this up on the board here real quick. Because a lot of people, they're on the misconception that this is different than negative 2 sevenths. They're the same thing. This, watch on the board, is the same thing as this. And it's the same thing as this. All of those have the equivalent expression. Positive divided by negative or negative divided by positive or negative or positive negative. divided by positive is the same expression. So wherever you put that negative, it doesn't matter. As long as you only have one. How many people are with me on this stuff so far? We're going to talk about evaluation for just a couple minutes and we'll call it a day. What's evaluation mean? We've had that word a lot in this class. What does it mean when I say evaluate something? Just plug in. Plug in. That's key. And then work it out. Give me a number. Give me an answer to that. So we're going to try to evaluate using some of these fractions ideas. I'm asking you to do two parts here. I'm asking you to find x, y. What's x, y mean? OK. <laughs> I'm asking for x divided by y. So we're, we're dividing. Using the same values, x is negative 3 fourths and y is 9 halves. Let's try to set these up first, and then we'll have you guys solve them. So first, the setup. Let's do x, y first. What do I need to write for x, y? This is what we're for. Negative, OK, negative 3 fourths, and then what? We're dividing there? No, times. Uh, times. Times in. OK, how do you know it's times? How do you know it's multiplication? We're right next to each other. Yeah, that's what that means. We have, we have x, y right there. That means x times y. So x was negative 3 fourths. Y is 9 halves. Can you do that? Great, we can do that one. Let's set up the next one. We have x divided by, by y. Of course, x is still the same. Negative 3 fourths. Only this time we're dividing by 9 halves. Hey, do you think we're getting the same answer here and here? No. no. Two completely different ones. Work them out, see what you get. Okay, so the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, do we need to flip anything or reciprocate anything on the first fractions here? First problem. No, it's multiplication. Don't change any of that stuff. All we're going to do is extend our line or rewrite the fraction as I'm about to do. We'll look for anything to cross out. Is there anything to cross out there? No. Any common factors that you see? No. no. So we're going to get negative 27 over 8. Raise your hand if you got negative 27 over 8. Cool, all right. Next one, we have a division problem. Division says you are going to find the reciprocal at some point. We'll have negative 3 fourths multiplied by 2 ninths. 